Looking for fast, cheap, reliable Madden 19 coins? Well, look no further. Head on over to AOAUE.com. Use code JTIBS for 5% off your order. What's happening, guys? JTIBS TV back at it again with another video. Shout out to y'all, man, for the continued support. My Seattle offensive ebook dropped yesterday, and we sold 15 copies in one day. I've never done that. That just means you guys are loving the stuff I'm putting out, and it just means so much to me. You guys are supporting me, helping me make this YouTube, and helping you guys get mad or at bad, and just a reality. So thank you so much for the support. Now, I received a question from a sub, and yes, this is going to be in the ebook too. So if you guys want to improve your offense make sure to go cop it it has video and worded document instructions in it also you get a free lab session it's one of the best offenses in the game if you want to take your offense to the next level and be virtually unstoppable moving that football go ahead and cop it but i received a question from a subscriber this is a common theme if you do play a lot of online head-to-head -head. against good players what they'll do is they'll cross man everyone on the field a lot of people like running crossing routes now people are going to start cross manning the hell out of you now i'm going to go to a very popular play out of the bunch tight end again we're on the seattle offensive playbook pa boot over and what they'll do is they'll put safeties all in a nickel formation i'm going to use the nickel over g because it's very very good at creating pressure and also pretty much excuse me pretty much uh stopping routes so right here boom you see and then they're going to try and shed you so they'll do something like this and then obviously they'll man up a so everything's crossed man nothing is going to be open and you're going to see how effective this is if i try to flood one side of the field you're going to see the cross man is really going to be effective i have nothing open and by the time i try to throw my y route it's covered it's not open and i end up getting sacked now to beat this what you have to do is at least have some decent speed receivers i'd say 90 uh speed or over and what i like to do this is just me this personal preference this is in my ebook too on how to beat this you have to go ahead and run corner routes now i like the deuce close because it's under center you can run up the middle with your quarterback if you want now i do have matt ryan so he can get the job done but you're gonna see again they're gonna double base align they're gonna cross man here 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 and then here and then they're just gonna play deep outs right here and then they're gonna use her this guy and they're gonna try and get sheds right here so this is what it looks like i know it looks confusing but you're gonna see right here if we do end up running this corner out you're gonna see you're gonna have to put two guys going to one side of the field now if they do end up cross manning what you can do is you can put a on a flat route now that can immediately be your quick hitter you can throw that for a nice gain right there that's about two three yards you have to immediately recognize that but if they do leave those you know those uh those hard flats right there then you gotta make sure you adjust to that you gotta adapt to that so right here boom here's the cross man they may stick a, a quarter so they don't get beat deep and they'll just watch anything deep right here and they'll wait for their pass rush to get in now you guys are going to notice that when i do run this corner out i'm going to throw it on the break boom throw it on the break right there now it did get picked right there and that's okay you know it's not going to get picked very often again i'm going to do it one more time and there we go boom it's all set up so right there boom there it is now what you're going to do again you want to wait for this corner out to get open and it will get open trust me guys as you're going to see right here i'm going to throw it right there on the break and sanu ends up making a nice catch right there we almost scored a touchdown so you have to go to outside passes and what i would recommend on this is if you do have elite or deep route specialists put both these guys julio jones and Snoo's already in a corner route put both of them on quick little corners so you can throw them because a lot of the times what people will do in this is when they do cross man they'll play hard flats or soft squats so you can't really get anything to the sideline but i'm here to show you that you can you can get stuff to the sideline it's very very easy and you're going to see right here again i'm just going to run the regular shed d and what they'll do some of the times is they'll put a deep third right here so you can't get beat deep what i like to do again is i like to sometimes even you know they won't pay attention most of the time so if they don't man up the running back put him on a wheel and kind of disguise the defense like or the offense like this so you're going to see right here we're going to have our quick little hitter right there now that was a bad rush throw right there i probably should have uh threw that a little earlier but you're going to see again if they do forget to you know put a hard flat or even a deep quarter on one side of the field something like this and then you know obviously they use this so say you know they're doing something like this they put a deep blue 
and you know they're figuring okay you're not going to go to the running back route well i'm here to tell you guys you got to use that you got to use that to your advantage because it's very effective if you do hit these quick little hitters like right there and then you're in the open field with one of the best running backs in the game of madden and look at that we're already in the red zone so it's a very effective play to go to guys i would really recommend though if you are going to face cross man you got to have quick hitters and you got to acknowledge the fact that they are doing it because if it's too late you are going to mess up you are not going to be successful it's a very very tough defense to go against so just make sure that you have those quick hitters again i'm going to do something like this i'm a streak a i'm going to make sure i have my routes ready so right here throw that outside and Sanu makes the tough catch right there getting us inside the tent so use this to your advantage guys make sure to also acknowledge and you know pretty much vitalize and make sure that you can use deep route or elite spe route specialists if you can afford it in mutt because those corner routes will mean the world to you when beating this very very already tough to beat defense so i hope that tip cleared some things up for you guys struggling with cross man if anything this is how i beat it i know others have different ways but in this way it's very effective because if you go under center especially in a really really good formation like this deuce close that is in my ebook go cop that guys i promise you you will destroy defenses but if you use something like that you always have the threat of running and the cross man does stop the run a little bit but if you're able to pick up your blocks you can take it for easy positive yardage every time and also carve up the defense through the air as well so guys this is j tips tv signing off hope you enjoyed today's video and as always peace